गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू लेसन दैट इज द फाइट इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ योर सप्लीमेंट्री बुक इट सो हैपन एंड लेसन नंबर सिक्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द करेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस स्टोरी बेसिकली देर आर ओनली टू करेक्टर्स फर्स्ट वन इज अ स्मॉल बॉय हुज नेम इज रंजी and the second one the second character his name is suraj okay basically this second boy is known in the story as another boy not as suraj at the last of the story we came to know his name so let's begin the story there are some clues about the first part of the story like ranji discovers a pool in the forest and plunges into it for swim there is serious trouble between him and someone else over who has a right to the pool a fight ensures the fight round ends in a draw according to these clues we came to know that ranji found a pool in the forest and he wanted to swim on it but there was someone else who was showing his possession over this pond so that is why they have a they had a fight and the result of this fight was draw means none of these two won in that fight so let's begin and try to understand what actually happened in that pond or in that forest ranji had been less than in a month in rajpur when he discovered the pool in the forest so ranji has gone to his relatives and he is gone in rajpur where he found a forest he found a pool in the forest okay and it was the heat of summer and his school had not yet opened means his school was closed because of the summer vacation and having as yet made no friends in this semi hill not semi hill station he wandered about a good deal by himself into the hills and forest they stretch away interminably on all sides of the town so basically rajpur is a semi hill station means not purely a hill station which is covered with the forest a semi hill station okay so there he did not found any friend so that is why he wandered he tried to find out something new for himself so he started going in the forest and that forest was interminably interminably means endless it was a very big forest okay now next one it was very hot at the time of the year and ranji walked about in his vest and shorts his brown feet white with the chalky dust that flew off from the ground so what happens as i have already told you that uh, it was the time of summer season okay and he was wearing the vest this inner garment is known as vest and he was also wearing the shorts because of the summer season and his brown feet were looking like uh, looking like chalky which flew upon in upon on his feet okay let's try to recap ranji has gone to a relative home that is in rajpur and rajpur is a semi hill station okay and he had not made any friend there so that is why he wandered means he went around and to find out a new thing a new stuff for himself okay and he started walking in the forest which was endless and as you know that it was the time of summer and his school was closed okay so this was this time was very hot of the year and ranji was walking on his vest and 
shorts okay and his brown feet was looking white with the chalky dust which was falling upon him from the ground now next one the earth was parched the grass brown the trees listless hardly stirring waiting for a cool wind or a refreshing shower of the rain so what happens it was the summer season the earth was hot and dry parched means hot and dry the grass was brown and the trees were looking like they are lifeless means there was not any wind movement that is why they were still there and they were hardly stirring stirring means movement the trees were not moving because there was not any wind and all these things were waiting for a cool wind and a refreshing shower of rain means it was a summer season the earth was hot and dry and the trees were looking like they are lifeless so all these things all these natural things were waiting for a cool wind or a refreshing shower of rain now next one it was on such day a hot tired day that ranji found pool in the forest so in this day for his surprise in this day he found a pool he found a pond in the forest the water had a gentle transparency and you could see the smooth pebbles at the bottom of the pool transparency means basically clarity so that water in the pond was so clear that we can see the pe- we can see the pebbles which was bottom of the pool or bottom of the a uh, water just look at this one yes suppose that it is a pond and you can see this pebbles there means this one this water was so clear that we could see that ranji could see these pebbles in the water now next one during the monsoon this stream would become a uh, would be a gushing torrent cascading down from the hills but during the summer it was barely a trickle okay in the monsoon season as you know that there is lots of rain so that is why this small stream of water becomes a gushing torrent gushing torrents means rushing towards okay and cascading means forcefully coming down means in the monsoon season when there is lots of water you have also seen these things around you that these small streams of water becomes the gushing torrent becomes the rushing power and they forcefully come down but in the summer season they were barely a trickle means when the summer season came and the quantity of water decrease and they only become these uh, uh, gushing torrents become only trickle you can see what a trickle look like yes we can say this one or this is also a trickle okay now next one we will try to find out the meaning of next paragraphs now just quick recap of the story in the first page we have studied that ranji is a boy who went to his relatives home in rajpur and that is a semi hill station it was the time of summer season that is why the summer vacation was going on and there was no other friend of him that is why he decided to walk along the forest and which was a endless forest means a very huge forest and in this forest he found a pool that was very clean okay now we will try to understand what happens next the rocks however held the water in the pool and it did not dry up like the pools in the plains basically what happens in plains areas and in summer season the pools gets dried but this time there was too much pebbles and rocks that is why Uh, this pond was not dried yet in the summer season also okay now next one 
when ranji saw the pool he did not hesitate to get into when he saw that he directly went into the pond he had often gone swimming alone or with friends when he had lived with his parents in a thirsty town in the middle of rajputana desert okay basically he used to go in these kind of ponds but not clean like that with the, his friends or with alone or with his family members parents he used to live in a rajputana desert rajputana desert it is in rajasthan jaisalmer rajasthan okay so he used to live there with his parents and sometimes he used to go to the pool for swimming purpose but the pool in the rajasthan or the pool in his rajputana desert it had known only sticky that was very sticky and muddy and uh, sorry sticky muddy pools where buffaloes wallowed and women washed clothes means buffaloes will uh, used to roll down in the pool where he used to live and where his actual home or actual village he had never seen a pool like this so clean and cold and inviting he left into the water his limbs were supple free of any fat and his dark body glistened in the patches of sunlight so he had never seen a clear pool like this so clean and cold and inviting means it was so attractive that it was inviting the boy it was inviting ranji so he directly leapt into the water means he went into the water his legs were very supple supple means we can say that weak okay his legs were very weak and he hadn't any fat on it and his dark body was glistened means shining in the patches of the sunlight okay let's recap of this paragraph what happens when he saw this pool and that was very clean and cold that is why it was inviting ranji to come into it and to have a bath into it okay so because ranji haven't seen so clear and so cold pond like this in this area in rajputana desert there were uh, sticky and muddy pools where the buffaloes and women used to wash their clothes okay so that is why this pond was a special one because it was neat and clean and it was so cold in the season of summer now next day he came again to quench his body in the cool water of the forest pool so next day he again came there to quench his body quench means to cool his body okay and that day he took bath in that pool and next day he came again to cool his body he was there for almost an hour sliding in and out of the limpid green water or lying stretched out of the smooth yellow rocks in the shade of broad leaf tree so next day what happens he was again enjoying the pool okay sometimes he was taking bath and after that he was coming out coming in and he was also resting near a salt tree you can see the tree here in the shade of salt tree he was enjoying there okay now that was not the all the turning point of the story comes here it was while he lay thus that he noticed another boy standing a little distance away staring at him in a rather hostile manner so when he was resting there okay when he was resting in that rock there was another boy you can see here there was another boy who was staring him staring means looking into the eyes and his manner or his body language was looking like that it was showing hostility hostility means enmity means uh, this one the another boy was not looking happy 
he was very much angry to see ranji there okay and that boy was taller and he was very thickest uh, with a broad nose and thick red lips means he was older than ranji and he was very strong he was taller also he had only just noticed ranji and when ranji did not say anything the other boy called out what are you doing here okay when ranji was enjoying there and he did not notice him okay the other boy actually his name is suraj we will came to find out later he told ranji that what are you doing here mr then ranji was very surprised because he was prepared for a friendly face but when he see that one that he was looking very hostile and angry that made him very surprised that made ranji very surprised that the other boy was looking like in the mood of hospitality his tone was not good not friendly i am swimming he replied why don't you join me then this boy told that i am swimming and why don't you join me now the another boy is telling i always swim alone said the other this is my pool i did not invite you now this is the turning point of the story this time the another boy is telling that i always swim alone and this is his pool okay he is telling to ranji that this is his pool and he did not invited him to swim on the pond now there is a quarrel started now and we will try to find out what is the result of it the stranger strode up to ranji strode up means came towards okay the stranger came towards ranji who still set the rock and planting his broad feet firmly on the sand said as thou this would settle the matter once and for all don't you know i am a warrior i do not take replies from villagers like you the other boy came towards ranji and this time ranji was resting on the rock and he was digging his feet into the sand then the other boy said that don't you know i am a warrior okay this boy said that don't you know that i am a warrior and i don't replies or i don't take replies from the villagers means when ranji told him that i am swimming there you can also join me okay this time he got very angry the other boy get very angry and he told ranji that i don't re- take replies from the villagers like you then again ranji got also furious he told that so you like to fight with villagers said ranji well i am not a villager i am a fighter okay try to understand this one now when the other boy told that he is a warrior okay then this time ranji again got furious he told that so would you like to fight with a villager and well i am not a villager i am a fighter just try to understand this one ranji told that he is a fighter and the other boy told that he is a warrior okay the meaning of both these words is same now next one they had reached and impasse means the situation now at the top and that was the ultimate situation they cannot handle now because both of them were in a mood to fight with each other one had said he was warrior and the other had proclaimed himself a fighter there was a little else that could be said means one was saying that he is warrior the other boy was saying that he is warrior while ranji was declaring himself proclaim means declare declaring himself as a fighter 
so there was we could not do anything now the one thing that is going to happen that is a fight between two people one is small and who is very skinny and second one is very tall and he has a thick body he had good muscles okay you understand that i am a warrior said the stranger feeling that perhaps this information had not penetrated ranji's head now he is telling that he is focusing on his words you understand that i am a warrior the other boy was telling that i am a warrior and he felt that this sentence or these words are not penetrating are not penetrating ranji's head means ranji had not any problem after listening these words that he is a warrior then ranji said i have heard you say it three times replied ranji okay ranji told him that i have heard you by telling that you are a warrior and you have told this sentence three times then warrior said again warrior means the other boy whose name is suraj then why are you not running away okay means then why are you not fearful with me why are you not running away from here then ranji said i am waiting for you to run away even ranji was a small boy you can see here this one was very stout very strong and ranji was a small boy but he is very determined and he don't want to leave the pond okay he want to fight for that pond that is why he is telling that i am waiting for you to go from here okay now next one you will see me do it said the other boy okay he is telling that you will see me do it means you will see me that you would definitely go from here not me okay now ranji waited the other boy made a strange hissing sound they stared each other in the eye for almost a minute so what happens ranji was waiting there and he did not started hitting each other he was waiting there the another boy was made a strange hissing hissing means the sound uh, the sound which comes from our nose when we gets angry that is hissing sound okay the sound of a snake is also called hissing so that man was very furious and he was making the sound of hissing and both of them was looking each other and staring each other uh, with a uh, anger in their eyes then the warrior means then the other boy suraj slapped ranji across the face with all force he could muster muster means gather okay so what happens after staring each other for a minute that man the another boy or suraj slapped ranji across his face and after gathering all his power okay so what happens after that ranji staggered staggered means not being still okay now he was not feeling well and he was feeling quite dizzy okay dizzy means sleepy okay there was a thick red finger marks on his cheek so when the other boy when suraj hit or slap on his face there were some finger marks on his cheek so now what happens next what could be the reply of it we will try to find out there you are exclaimed his assailant will you be off now assailant means enemy okay then this boy this warrior the sura said that there you are means after hitting a slap on the face and said that there you are now will you go off now will you go from this place now for answer ranji swung his arm up and pushed a hard bony fist into the another's face so what happens now after some time ranji again got furious he put his hands together and he make his fingers he collected his fingers and made it as a fist and then he again hit on the face of the other boy on the face of the warrior okay and then they were 
at each other's throat means uh, they were now directly fighting with each other okay swaying on the rock tumbling on the sand rolling over rolling over and over their legs and arms locked in desperate violent struggle now what happens uh, in a starting that was only talking and after that that talking that conversation change into uh, staring and after that it change into slapping and fisting and after that this one has totally become a physical fight now okay and both of them were locked with each other they were fighting with each other and they both of them were desperate to fight with each other okay gasping and crushing clawing and slapping they rolled into the shallow of the pool okay now both of them were on each other the both of them were fighting with each other and they were taking one another into the remand and they were fighting with each other and both of them rolled down near the shallow a shallow of the pool okay now next one even in the water the fight continues <laughs> both of them have raced in the shallow of the pool shallow means the area which is not deep which is not deep filled with water okay so both of them continued their fight even in the water okay and spluttering and covered with mud spluttering means they were speaking quickly they were exchanging the words to each other while they were fighting and they were covered with the mud they gobbled for each other's head and throat means both of them wanted to hit each other and they wanted to have their throat and head of each other but after 5 minutes of frenzied unscientific struggle neither boy had emerged at victorious okay this is the important one after fighting with each other for 5 minutes okay after violence frenzied means violence unscientific struggle okay means which doesn't have any result no boy no boy emerged at victorious means no one won that fight and their bodies were heavily exhausted now they were tired and they stood back from each other now they have separated from each other making tremendous efforts to speak means they wanted to speak to each other now after fighting for 5 minutes they are very tired and now they want to speak to each other now now do you realize i am a warrior guess the stranger now the stranger is telling that now do you have realized that i am a warrior then ranji is telling that do you know i am a fighter said ranji with difficulty means both of them both of them are very they are very brave okay they are very brave and they are telling that do you have realized have you realized that i am a warrior do you realize that i am a fighter okay they gave a moment's consideration to each other's answer and in that moment of silence there was only their heavy breathing and the rip- rapid breathing of their hearts as i have already told you that both of them were very tired after that fighting and there was a silence for a minute because no one was talking after telling one sentences like do you uh, do you realize that i am a warrior or do you realize that i am a fighter now what happens next then will you leave the pool said the warrior <laughs> then the warrior is telling that now ranji will you leave this pool now then ranji is telling that i will not leave it <laughs> ranji is also very determined he don't want to leave the pool he also said that no i am not going to leave this pool then this warrior said then we shall have to continue the fight said the other the other boy told that now we have to continue the fight because the person who will win the fight who will have this pool okay then ranji is telling that all right i am ready to fight with you but neither bob boy moved neither took an initiative <laughs> means both of them was very much tired even they were telling that they are ready to fight but both of them were not taking any initiative means they were not going 
towards each other to fight with each other even they were telling to fight but they were not pouncing on each other okay the warrior had an inspiration inspiration means a new idea the warrior means uh, the new one the another boy who has come there whose name was suraj now he had an idea that he told ranji that will he come tomorrow to fight okay he said now he is telling to ranji that i think we should continue this fight tomorrow because today we are very tired basically it doesn't happen but this is a new and a strange story so the, he is telling that if you dare to come here again tomorrow we will continue this fight and i will not show you mercy as i have done today now the another boy is telling that if you have dare if you have brave if you are brave then come tomorrow and we will fight again and tomorrow i will not show any mercy to you because today i have shown some kindness to you some mercy to you that is why i was unable to beat you but tomorrow i will not show any kindness towards you then ranji is telling them i will come tomorrow i will be ready for you means i will be ready to fight with you they turn from each other then and uh, each other then and going to their respective rocks put on their clothes and left the forest by different routes then after that both of them went to the rocks where they have uh, taken out their clothes and after that they put on their clothes and went to their homes from a different direction in the forest or in the pool so that is how the first part of the story completed and in the next part we will try to find out what happens the next day and what kind of fight they did in next day okay we will try to find out it in the next class now there are some question answers these four question answers you will write down these comprehensional check question answers with the help of this book and with the help of this video explanation